Hello Explorers, welcome back. So, we are going to do Mini Monday, Magic Mini Monday, and we have a guest today. Who's our guest? Me Linux! Me Linux! Yes. She does have the dice. Alright baby, go ahead. You roll. Three. Keep going. You just got to keep rolling. So it's been a while since you've, um... You've helped me with the mini Monday. Do you want to tell us what your um, favorite place has been so far now that we've been more places? Uh, Keep rolling, though. My mom favorite was the... I actually liked all of them. You liked all of them? Well, good. I'm glad, babe. Are you excited to be going to Florida for a little bit? Sister? Yeah. Yeah. I know you're having fun living right now while the truck's getting getting done being so close to uh, mommy's friends. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. All right. Go ahead and roll it again. Try to keep it on the table. Okay. We didn't land on six. No, you haven't landed on six yet. Six. And we are we are starting over on these mini Mondays as we had to clear them out. But that's okay. We're starting fresh. Five. You're rolling five a lot, sis. Two. Oh my goodness. Here it is. There it is. Right there by your foot. Oh, you're going to step on it. You didn't even roll that one off the table. You just dropped it. Okay, go ahead and roll. You're not getting any sixes. You're not getting any sixes. Two... Don't throw it so hard. So I wanted to address a comment. Keep going, baby girl. I wanted to address a comment that is just simply not okay that was left on one of my videos. Um, so I don't mind if you guys are new and you're wondering like what is going on as far as, um, let me rephrase this. So the comment was, why does your husband not work? And while this comment's really not okay, I was, it, that part isn't what bothers, six, that comment is not what um, ticked me off, that question, because it's, it's a curiosity thing, I get it, um, so that part was fine. If you guys are curious why my husband doesn't, tech, doesn't work, that's fine. What wasn't okay was the follow-up to their question of, it said, why does your husband not work? It seems he's just, he's enjoying it all while you're stressing, trying to figure out where to get the cash, come up with the money. And that's where I got really ticked off. And here is why. Um, let, let's address this in two parts. So the first part, why my husband doesn't work. Um, while that question doesn't technically bother me, it still isn't really okay to ask somebody because you would never ask if I was a stay at home mom, nobody would question it. Nobody in the years that I was a stay at home mom before I started doing what I do, I never once got asked why I was a stay at home mom or why I didn't work. Mom, how much do I have to do? I got the rest of this, babe. Until you want out money? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to, babe girl. Now you're getting a bunch of sixes. Um, in the years that I was a stay-at-home mom, nobody ever asked me why I didn't work or, um, you know, anything like that. But now that my husband appears to be a stay-at-home dad, that seems to be a hot topic and people think it's okay to pass judgment. And it's not. There shouldn't be a double standard. We are equal in our marriage. We are equal in our family. And 
whether I, there are times that I work and he stays home. There's times he works and I stay home. We've had this back and forth thing, our entire relationship. Um, so that addresses that part of it. But again, that part doesn't really, really bother me. It was a question. Okay. It was just a question. Um, and so in that sense, it doesn't really bother me. But that could be why it bothers, it might bother other people. Now, the second part is what really ticked me off. The, it seems he's just enjoying it while you're trying to come up with the cash. Say what you want about me. I don't, you can say whatever you want about me, but don't ever say something about my husband or my kids. Um, because I will, I will literally fight somebody over my husband and my kids. Um, it's just rude. It's rude. Um, don't assume you know somebody's situation. And don't, I don't even know. Like, I really don't even know. I did respond to the comment in a very lengthy response. Um, because those of you that have been here for a while, you know darn well why he does isn't working. Uh, and it's because I convinced him to stop working. I convinced him to leave his job so that we could pursue mine to the fullest and basically finally give me my chance to do what I love to do. Um, like I said, our entire marriage, our entire relationship, we have had very much a back and forth. Um, so when we first got together, we both worked. I worked full time. He worked full time when we lived in Indiana. And then when we moved to Florida, we moved down there because he got a job or he got a job offer. He was working. I wasn't working right away. I moved down there once I like secured a job. I had a job. You got to actually roll it, baby girl. Um, and then a little into it. I had him leave his job because his job was actually costing us more than it was making for us. Like it was literally costing us more and it wasn't worth it. So he left his job. I was working. He was running my business. Then when we moved to Vegas, I actually transferred my job. What's wrong? I'm okay. Okay. Uh, when we moved to Vegas, I actually transferred my job from Miami. I was able to put in a transfer and transfer from that job to the location in Vegas. He wasn't working because he hadn't been working in Miami other than like running my business. So when we moved to Vegas, he continued to run my business until he got hired into the same company that I was working for. Then he actually convinced me to leave. He, he got a new job. He didn't stay with the company very long. Um, but he actually, when he switched jobs, he actually convinced me to leave my job because my business was bringing in more than either one of us were making at the jobs we had. And my job was getting in the way of my business. Um, not the business I have now as a content creator. Um, I did wholesale uh, crafting, which is a whole other, whole other thing. I didn't like purchase crafting and, and wholesale. I actually made every single thing, but I had one product in particular that I made and I made it and only sold it wholesale to other crafters because most of them couldn't figure out how to make them and I could make them in bulk. So I left my job to do that full time. And then I did that for many years. Um, and then he got onto the police department and when he was on the police department, I no longer I ended up, you know, we had Wrigley and so my business kind of went, took a back seat. It was exhausting to do all the time and take care of a baby. It wasn't safe to have around a baby. Like the crafting tools that I used were not, that's it babe. That's all the money. The crafting tools that I had were not safe to have around a baby. So, um, I can only do them at, do it at certain times of the day, et cetera, et cetera. So, Eventually, I got bored because I don't like to just sit still and do nothing. Um, so I started blogging. I was sharing our cloth diaper journey. I was sharing our, um, you know, just parenting in general. So how much should we make each one of these? Two dollars? 
You think we should make them each two? Yeah, I think we should make each one of these two. So we have one, two, three, four, five dollars. And we're going to go ahead and condense this because I am going to need these ones. Um, since I can't get to a bank. It's going to be a while before you guys get a cash condensing video. Simply because I do need to make sure that I'm keeping change. So we condensed those into a five. Um, so, like I said, there's been times that he hasn't worked. There's been times I haven't worked. Um, but the only time we've ever been questioned is when he isn't working, which is ridiculous to me. So, um, when I started as a cricket, or a cricket, sorry, I'm getting so sidetracked right now. I'm trying to, like, think five things at once. Okay, baby girl, do you want to color these in now? Okay. So, why don't we use these colors? Because I think those colors look really pretty with it. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So, you're going to color in two, okay? Two circles. Um, so this one got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Any two circles, baby. So let's get a ten. Um, let's see. So twelve dollars into this one as she's coloring her little heart out over there. I'll wait to put this on there. So, um, all right, now that I'm not doing anything, let me think. So, okay, yeah, so I started, like, blog, uh, vlogging everything that I was doing, and then eventually my kids started kind of growing up, and we got our Disney passes, and I turned more into a Disney creator, and then we started traveling more and more. He was making better money as a police officer. I was bringing in a lot of money still doing my, I was still doing my crafting, just not as much. But between the two, we were bringing in more money and we were able to travel. We were traveling quite a bit to California, just exploring all of California, started going into um, Arizona more, etc. All right. So I need you to do the fours. Can you do the fours and then tell me when you're done with the fours? Um, and it, my page kind of switched directions to being travel. Well, then I started, what I draw? um, whatever you want. You can just do a heart inside like these are. You can color in the white part. You can just cross them off. Whatever you want to do, baby. So, um, my page started growing. I really found myself in the travel niche. And he was still working as a police officer. We, um, sorry, Wrigley must have rolled over on the remote because his TV just got lo really loud all of a sudden. Okay. Um, sorry guys, this is the most, like, um, chopped up story ever because there's been so many distractions. So... As I grew as a travel creator, I started getting more and more travel opportunities. And over the years, I had to decline so and turn down so many partnership opportunities because of my husband's job. Um, and it's easy to say, well, you could go without him. Yes, I could. But if I went without him, then I would have to get child care because he works. <laughs> and we don't leave our kids with anybody. So either way, whether I went with him or without him, he had to be off work in order for me to go on these trips. Um, so we did the best we could with his job. When he first started, obviously he really loved his job. He loved it for a few years. And then once he started to not love it and kind of expressed to me that he didn't plan on retiring like doing his full retirement of 30 years. Okay, so that's, no, just leave it, so that's eight. Do you do a three? And then a one. A three and a one. Okay. Um, that's kind of... One for each one? 
No, just one three and one one. So just do these two. Um, that's kind of when I realized, like, if this isn't something that he loves, that he is going to do the rest of his career, then why are we putting off my job that makes my, our entire family happy? Why are we turning down opportunities with my job that I absolutely love and that my whole family benefits from um, for a job that he doesn't love? That just didn't make any sense. We were letting a job that he didn't love and didn't plan on staying with um, interfere with my job that we did love. So eventually we talked about it. He mentioned one day like, oh, he would love to buy a, a converted van um, for like our trips just to make our trips more comfortable, uh, more fun, blah, blah, blah. We basically just, just for like our weekend trips to California, he wanted it. Perfect. Thank you. So we had $12 there. So this one is almost done. It only needs eight more dollars. Um, and I, I joked like that, you know, those are, those converted vans are very expensive for something that you're just going to use on the weekends. Like it's not actually going to save us any money because we would have this converted van payment on top of the mortgage payment. Like that converted, when we go to California and we stay in hotels, most of the time we have them partnered. So rather than having free partnered hotels, we would actually be paying this van payment, which would be super high because those converted vans, a sprinter van, which is what he wanted, those are like $100,000. So it really wasn't a savings. Um, so I joked like only if we were going to do this full time and then the ball just kind of rolled. So on this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, baby girl, you can call her in four. Okay. Um, pick a green, do a green. Okay. So that's kind of how that happened. Um, we started planning. I showed him like, this is actually a possibility. Just any four that you want to do. This is actually something that can happen. Um, so let's do it. Four, baby. Okay. And that's where we went. So the fact that my husband doesn't work, um... First of all, it's really nobody's business, but I do put that out there, so I'm totally fine with it. But just don't pass judgment. Because even if he didn't work, what's wrong with that? Nobody bats an eye when a, when a mom doesn't work. But the second a dad does, everybody's like, oh, he's, you know, he doesn't provide for his family. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. Which is absolutely ridiculous. But also... My husband does work. He may not be a police officer anymore, but he does all of our YouTube videos. Can I get a big one? Yeah, any, any four that you want, baby. He does all of our YouTube videos. He does all of the cooking for this house. He does... Um, we, we are very much, like I said, a very equal partnership here. He gives the kids their showers. I brush their hair because... brush. I don't know if you've ever seen my kids' hair, but both of them have very long hair that knots really bad. Uh, so that's like a whole ordeal. So he gives them showers, I brush hair. He cooks, I clean up. He does, the, I do the inside when we're getting ready to travel. I pack up the inside. He packs up all the hoses and all the stuff outside. Um, while he's doing all of the leveling and the unpacking and the setting up when we get to a campsite, I'm handling the kids. He does the driving. I hand out snacks. I handle what each kid needs. I do this. I do that. Like we are very much an equal partnership, but even if we weren't, it's my marriage and it's my choice. Good job. Thank you. Yep. We got, a, I think two more. So, um, but no, he, he very much does work. He works for me. We, and I, I don't really like to say that he works for me because we definitely are a partnership. I am the face of my content creation, and he is the behind-the-scenes guy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I would say use yellow, don't you think? Yeah. 
put for the stars. Here you go. There's a good yellow. What do we need to do? Oh, sorry. So we have seven going into that one. So do a two threes. Two three. And a one. And a one one. Yes. No, like two ones. Right. A two threes. Two threes. Because that's seven dollars. Three plus three is six. And six plus one is seven. Um, so yeah, I just thought I needed to touch on that and I apologize because it was a bunch of rambling and ranting and chopped up story because of all the interruptions. Um, any more sweets? Nope. And now just a one. Whichever one you want. Oh, there is another sweet. Yeah, but we're not doing it. Um, it just really bothers me when he's judged because I spent so many years being yeah I spent so many years being judged for what I did as a content creator nobody considered it a job and I don't I will protect my family at anything um, to keep them from having to feel even just a portion of what I felt when people would constantly say that I you know I didn't work when I did I never got judged for not working but I, people would always, yeah, you know, oh, well, Brianna, but Brianna doesn't work. I did this right um, when I, in fact, did, yeah, that's fine. When I, in fact, did work because I had a, you know, they just never considered it a real job. I still, even though that's literally our whole income now is my content creation, there are still so many people that don't consider us having jobs. I pay taxes. I earn a paycheck, I earn paychecks. So in this one we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's just really, really frustrating sometimes. Um, but at the same time, I like to say, if you're not paying my bills, it's none of your business. To those people, obviously. All right, so we have $9, so we're gonna do a six and a three. A six. So you're gonna color in the little dots on the dice. So yeah, fun times. Okay, well, while she's doing that one, I'm gonna start on this one because I've kept you guys for enough of your time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, nine again. One, two, three, four, five. I have plenty of fives. Can I do a different color for this one? Yeah, if you want to. And in tomorrow's video for Travel Tuesday, I'm so excited because I'm going to be announcing a new trip that is definitely happening. Um, we're, we're between two dates right now. We're just waiting for the confirmation on the date. Um, but it is happening. We've already been given the, the green light to go ahead and start setting things up. And when I say like confirmation on the dates, it's like literally two different days either going on like the 6th or the 7th type of thing. Oh, I never did this one before. Okay. And I actually just set up another trip. It's a local trip, but it's somewhere we've never been before um, for Wrigley's birthday, so I completely forgot I need to uh, tell you guys about that one and start saving for that, too. Want to drink good birthday today? No, baby, not today. Today is June 30th. Wrigley's birthday is August 10th. So you mean like, um, 10 days? No, baby. In, uh, like one month in 10 days. So you mean like 40 days? I don't know. Yeah, 40 days. Good job. Uh, right around 40 days. Yay! I got a good yeah. flag. There was a bunny at our window. Yeah. Yeah, All right. So we have this nine dollars. So now on this one, we also have nine dollars. So you need to do um, a two fours and a one. Can you do two fours and a one on that one? Yeah. Okay. I 
see if I can turn you guys towards Lennox a little more. Since I'm done with, oof, I'm done with what I'm doing. You can see her color. Two fours, so these two fours, and then a, a one. And you can just color in the little circle. Guys, I'm peeling so bad from when I got my sunburn. Me too. Yeah. I even got some on my toe. On your toe? My two toes. Literally. Look at this. Oh, hold on. No, just finish coloring, baby girl. All right, so I will go ahead and show you guys because I didn't go over who these were from. So this one is a freebie from D Plans and Budgets. This is also from D Plans and Budgets. I literally just picked the top six on my stack of freebies. This is a freebie from Danny at Craft Co. Budgets. This is a freebie from Mandy's Budgeting Journey. I do can know I'm an artist. Yeah. This is a freebie from Budget with Carly. This one actually came in my order. Um, so this one is not one you can like download from her channel, I'm assuming. It did come with my order, but it was still a freebie. So, it still counts for our freebie ones. Let's put a two in here so we know what we made each one. Then again, I made all of them $2 this time, unless they had a number assigned to them already. Just to make my life a little bit easier. Let's switch this, because it's going to bother me that this is the only one that is paper clipped at the bottom. Okay, so we have this one and this one this one and then the other the one she's doing right now I believe is also uh, by Mandy's budgeting journey I've done it before in a smaller version of it um, but this one doesn't have the name okay perfect sis and this one also got nine dollars so that is officially how Lennox and I spent fifty dollars on magic mini monday and we will see you back here tomorrow for travel tuesday so until next time bye, bye. good job sis